disease is an autoimmune disorder that occurs in genetically predisposed people and these people have a damage to the small intestine upon the ingestion of gluten. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye and upon ingestion of gluten these patients actually have damage to the small intestinal villi or tiny finger-like projections in the small intestine that help with the absorption of nutrients. Celiac disease is a hereditary condition, meaning that it does run in families. And it's known that for a person who has a first degree relative who has celiac disease, that patient or person has a one in 10 chance of developing celiac. The diagnosis of celiac disease can be quite difficult because some patients may have zero symptoms and some patients may be very symptomatic. So initially the workup entails a blood test or a screening blood test where we check for the elevated antibody levels to gluten in the person's blood. Should we find elevated levels of those antibodies, we then proceed to a confirmatory test, which is an upper endoscopy, an outpatient procedure, where we take small pieces of tissue from the small intestine to confirm the diagnosis. There are currently, unfortunately, is no cure for celiac disease, but the current treatment is a lifelong gluten-free diet, which is actually the same in the pediatric and the adult population. And anytime we place a patient on such a restrictive diet, we encourage them to have close follow-up with the nutritionist to ensure that they're not at risk for certain nutritional deficiencies, such as vitamin or mineral deficiencies. The challenges uh, with working with children and dietary modifications is that some of these kids are picky eaters and they're not always going to want to take out their most favorite foods uh, and replace it with something that you know I tell them to, and, and that's okay. So our initial plan might not always work, but we will edit and make it work and you know meet somewhere in the middle. What sets the CADC apart in the treatment of pediatric celiac disease is our multidisciplinary team approach. So we have everyone from your gastroenterologist who will help make the diagnosis and continue to monitor your antibody levels, our nutritionist who comes in to see you each visit and who will monitor your gluten-free diet, our patient navigator who helps to streamline all of your medical care and also can be helpful in terms of providing notes for school and ensuring that your child has all the care that he or she needs.